To manual muscle test the shoulder flexion against gravity, you're going to have your client sitting in a chair and you're going to have their arm positioned at 90 degrees flexion. With one of your hands, you're going to apply stabilization to the superior shoulder girdle. With your other hand, you're going to apply pressure to the distal humerus. Okay, I'm going to apply some pressure. Now don't let me push you down. Okay, good. For shoulder flexion MMT in the gravity minimized position, you're going to have your client side lying on a flat surface. You're going to have them flex their arm at 90 degrees and you're going to see if they can actively do the motion. But if they can't, you can also provide your arm right here for support. So as they flex their shoulder, you're going to palpate the glenohumeral joint. For MMT testing of the shoulder extension in against gravity position, you're going to have your client laying prone and for the testing position you're going to already have their shoulder extended 30 degrees. You're going to stabilize the superior shoulder girdle and you're going to apply pressure to the distal humerus. Okay, I'm going to apply pressure and don't let me push you. Good. For the gravity minimized position, of shoulder extension MMT, you're gonna have your client in side lying position and you're gonna have them have their arms straight down by their side and as they go into the extended position, you're gonna palpate the posterior glenohumeral joint. Okay, can you go into extension for me? Good. Okay. For MMT testing of shoulder abduction, Against gravity, you're going to have your client seated with good posture in a chair. Then you're going to have them extend their arm out to the side 90 degrees. You're going to stabilize the glenohumeral joint. And then you're going to apply pressure to the distal humerus. Okay, I'm going to apply pressure and don't let me push you down. Good. To test shoulder abduction in the gravity minimized position, you're going to have your patient laying supine and you're going to have their palm facing up and you're going to have them abduct their shoulder all the way up as far as they can go. While they're doing this motion, you're going to palpate the glenohumeral joint. Good. For MMT testing of shoulder external rotation in the against gravity position, you're going to have your client laying prone and you're going to have them flex their arm to about 90 degrees. For the testing position, you're going to have them externally rotate to about 40 degrees. You're going to stabilize underneath the distal humerus and I'm going to apply pressure on the distal forearm. Okay, I'm going to apply pressure and don't let me push you. For MMT testing of shoulder external rotation in the gravity minimized position, you're going to have your client seated in a chair. You're going to have them bring their elbow adducted at their side to about 90 degrees. You're going to have them externally rotate. You can also place your arm here for stabilization if they need that extra assistance. While they do the external rotation, you're going to palpate the rotator cuff muscles in the back of the shoulder on the posterior side. For MMT testing of shoulder internal rotation in the against gravity position, you're going to have your client lying prone on a flat surface. The testing position is going to be the elbow flexed at about 90 degrees, and to test for against gravity, you're going to have them internally rotate about 40 degrees. You're going to stabilize underneath the distal humerus, and you're going to apply pressure on the volar surface of the forearm. Okay, I'm gonna press you, don't let me move you, okay? Good. For MMT testing of shoulder internal rotation in the gravity minimized position, you're gonna have your client seated in a chair. You're gonna have them have their arm adducted and their elbow flexed at 90 degrees. You can also provide support under here if needed. You're gonna ask them to do the internal rotation movement and as they do that movement, you're gonna palpate the anterior side of the shoulder. Go ahead and do that for me. Good. For shoulder horizontal abduction 
for MMT testing in the against gravity position, you're gonna have your client lying supine. You're gonna have their shoulder at 90 degrees abduction in the horizontal plane. Then you're going to stabilize either the scapula or opposite shoulder for extra stabilization. Once they're in this position, you're going to apply pressure to the distal humerus. Okay, when, when I apply pressure, don't let me push you, okay? Good. For MMT testing of shoulder horizontal abduction in the gravity minimized position, you're gonna have your client seated in a chair and you're gonna have them bring their arm up to 90 degrees. You're gonna provide support by cradling their arm and you're gonna have your arm or your hand on the back of their scapula to palpate the posterior shoulder as they do the abducted motion. Okay, can you do, go ahead and put your arm towards me for me. Good. shoulder horizontal adduction for MMT testing in the against gravity position. You're going to have your client lying supine on a flat surface. You're going to have their shoulder adducted to um, 90 degrees. You're going to stabilize the opposite shoulder again for extra trunk stabilization and you're going to apply pressure on the inside of the distal humerus. Okay, I'm going to apply pressure and don't let me push you. For MMT testing of shoulder horizontal adduction in the gravity minimized position, you're going to have your client seated and you're going to bring their arm up to 90 degrees. You're going to provide support by cradling their arm and as they move their arm in the adduction position, you're going to palpate the anterior shoulder. Okay, you can go ahead and put your arm towards you. Good. To test elbow flexion in the against gravity position, your client is going to be seated with the OT sitting next to her on the side that's being tested. You're going to have your client flex their elbow at their side, adducted, at about 90 degrees with their forearm supinated. You're going to provide stabilization underneath the elbow joint and you're going to apply pressure on the volar aspect of the forearm. Okay, I'm gonna push down and don't let me move you, okay? Okay. Good. To test elbow flexion in the gravity minimized position, you're gonna have your client seated. The OT is gonna be on the same side as the side that's being tested. You're gonna have your client bring their elbow up out to the side at about 90 degrees, and you're gonna provide stabilization and cradle their arm right here at the biceps brachy muscle. Then you're going to have them put their palm toward their chest and you're going to palpate right here as they do that motion. Okay, can you move your arm in? Good. For MMT testing of elbow extension in the against gravity position, you're going to have your client lying supine. You're going to position them with their elbow and shoulder flexed at 90. You're going to stabilize with one hand on the anterior portion of the humerus, and then with the other hand, you're going to apply pressure to the distal forearm. Okay, I'm gonna push down your hand towards your face and don't let me push you, okay? Good. For MMT testing of elbow extension in the gravity minimized position, you're gonna have your client seated. You're going to have them abduct their arm to about 90 degrees. They're gonna start with their palm facing them. You're going to use one of your arms to cradle their humerus, and then you're going to have them extend their arm in the back of the hand towards you. Okay, go ahead and do that motion for me. Good, and as they do this motion, you're going to be palpating for their triceps and their anconius. Good. For MMT testing of supination of the forearm in the against gravity position, you're going to have your client seated and the OT is going to be on the same side as the side being tested. You're going to have your client flex their elbow at about 90 degrees and you're going to have their forearm be in neutral position. You're going to stabilize proximal to the elbow and then you're going to grasp 
the dorsal aspect of the distal forearm with the fingers while turning or pulling away the arm toward the pronation position. Okay, so I'm going to move you in and don't let me move your wrist on the inside of your body, okay? Okay. There you go. Good. To test supination in the gravity minimized position, you're going to have your client seated and you're going to have them flex their shoulder at 90 and their elbow at 90. You're going to provide support under here, kind of cradling their arm. Okay, you're gonna have them just do the motion for, your, for you. You're just gonna have them supinate and you're going to palpate their supinator, which is on the inside of their arm. Good. For MMT testing of pronation in the against gravity position, you're gonna have your client seated and you're gonna bring their elbow to flexion at about 90 degrees. You're going to provide stabilization on the humerus proximal to the elbow, and you're gonna grasp the dorsal aspect of the forearm with your fingers while turning and pushing the forearm towards supination. Okay, so I'm gonna pull your arm toward me, but try and keep it neutral and don't let me pull it, okay? Okay. Ready, go. Good. For MMT testing of pronation in the gravity minimized position, you're going to have your client seated next to you and you're going to have their elbow and shoulder flexed to about 90 degrees. You're going to have them do this motion, so I'm going to have you put your palm facing the wall and then while they do this motion, you're going to palpate the pronator teres.